Hi everyone! In this video we're going to be going over some really simple snacks for toddlers. We're going to be making fruit and cheese skewers, ants in a log, and hummus with vegetables and crackers. The first thing we're going to make is fruit, veggie, and cheese skewers. So these skewers are going to be made on pretzels. This is a great way to make sure that whatever skewers that you use aren't going to be something that hurts your toddler. So the first step that you're going to follow with this is any of the round fruits or vegetables that you're using, you're going to cut those into fourths. Anything that's round can get lodged in a toddler's windpipe. So you cut these up in order to prevent them from choking. This is a grape cutter and so it's something that would be really good for you to have around if you have a toddler because it cuts them very very quickly but if you don't have a grape cutter a knife works just as well. It makes them into these little slices that are not going to get lodged into the windpipe if they go down the wrong way. So after you've cut your grapes into the smaller pieces, you're going to take a regular skewer and make a space in the fruit and cheese pieces for the pretzel to go through. Because if you just put the pretzel into there without making this space, it's going to break the pretzel. And then you're just going to slide the fruit and cheese onto the pretzel in an alternating order so that it has some interest and looks really cool. The more interest that you can create with toddlers' foods, the more likely they are to eat them. Cherry tomatoes also work in the grape cutter. They do squish a little bit so it doesn't quite work as well, but they will work. And then this works really well if you use cherry tomatoes and fresh mozzarella pearls for a saltier snack. So if your child doesn't like sweeter things, this will work for a saltier type snack. Um, fresh mozzarella pearls are round so you will need to cut those as well and you're following the same procedure with the skewer and then sliding them onto the pretzel. When you're looking at serving sizes for toddlers, you're looking for about one tablespoon of each food group per year of age. So generally you don't need a whole lot of food, you just want to focus on getting a variety of different things. This snack is going to have grains and fruit and dairy. So it's a great way for toddlers to practice fine motor skills while they're eating because they will have to use a pinch grip and pick those snacks up as they're going. Once the kids are a bit older, you might not need to cut the grapes and tomatoes and they can help make them. This is going to help out with their hand-eye coordination as well. The next snack is one of my favorites when I was little. It's called ants on a log and anything that's a play on something or sounds something kind of silly, toddlers are going to love. So the reason it's called ants on a log is that the raisins are going to represent the ants. And this is celery with peanut butter or sun butter if your kid has an allergy and raisins on top. So this one is really, really simple. The first thing you're going to do is to start out by washing the celery. Keep in mind that celery grows on the ground and also that there might be pesticide residue or anything like that on there. So make sure you wash it. Also when um, people are shopping, they might touch things in the grocery store. So always wash things before you start. And then cut those into two to three inch pieces. After that, you're going to grab a zip top bag, cup it over top of your hand, and then put your peanut butter or sunflower seed butter into the bag. If your toddler has an allergy, the sunflower seed butter doesn't really have very many people that have an allergy to that. Um, just use a rubber spatula to place that into the zip top bag. Cuffing it over means that it's going to be easier to seal the bag and you can grab onto the peanut butter with your hand. Um, I grabbed onto the rubber spatula as well. Then you're going to close your bag and cut a small little corner off of the bottom corner of the bag. Put 
place your celery on a plate or on whatever you're going to serve off of. And then you're gonna twist your bag from the top down towards that corner. And that is going to um, have the peanut butter come out of the little hole that you cut. And then just place your raisins on top of the peanut butter. The peanut butter is gonna provide some protein and then the celery is going to be your base and then the raisins are gonna be a serving of fruit. The next snack that we're gonna have is hummus, veggies, and crackers. And I know a lot of adults don't enjoy hummus, but surprisingly, a lot of kids really do enjoy it. So by having a whole grain cracker with this, along with the chickpeas that are in the hummus, you're going to be creating a complete protein with this snack. So it's a great snack to have. So to start out with, you're gonna have two cans of chickpeas, some garlic, you can have peanut butter, tahini, or an alternative like sunflower seed butter if your child is allergic to sesame seeds or peanuts, and then olive oil. So start out by opening your cans of chickpeas and you're gonna strain those and reserve the liquid that's in the chickpeas. And put those into your food processor. You can also use chickpeas that you've made in a pressure cooker or a slow cooker if that's your preference. Um, if you're just trying to make this quickly, canned chickpeas work really, really well. Hummus is very expensive in the grocery stores. So this is a great way to save some money. Then you're gonna add about a fourth cup of your reserve liquid back into your food processor. This is gonna help keep it smooth. And then add about two tablespoons of your peanut butter or whatever alternative you choose and about a tablespoon of minced garlic and then some salt pepper if you'd like any of these ingredients you can adjust to whatever your toddler enjoys if you know that your toddler enjoys things a little bit more bland you can leave out these things and you can change this recipe up in any way that you need to to make this work. You can also add things like roasted red peppers or any other veggies to up the nutrition or just to add flavor depending on what your family or your toddler enjoys. Then you're gonna secure the lid on and lock it tight and turn your food processor on. You're gonna add about two tablespoons of lemon juice through the chute at the top and add a little bit of your reserve liquid as well to adjust your consistency and then add a little bit of olive oil and at this level you're doing things kind of by feel you want to get things to where the consistency is like the hummus that you traditionally see After it looks smooth and the consistency that you like, you're going to open the food processor and scrape down the sides and just to get any of the things that have come up the sides off so that your consistency is very smooth and then run it a little bit longer. Carefully remove your blade and scrape off the hummus and then you're going to put it into a serving dish or a container or put some into a serving dish and the rest of them into a container. So to serve this, um, you can prep it with cucumbers, and I like to prep cucumbers by scraping a fork down the side. This is going to make a really cool pattern on it that makes it look neat, but also it breaks up the skin a little bit so it's easier to chew. And so scrape the fork down the sides of it, cut it in half, and then cut each half in half to make the cucumber into half circles. And then you're going to cut that into slices. Then you're gonna grab some baby carrots. Um, I like to get some of the baby carrots that are different colors and you wanna cut those into quarters as well since these are round and they could be a choking hazard. And we're serving these with whole grain crackers because the grains along with the chickpeas are gonna make a complete protein for this snack.
So all of these snacks are snacks that would work for toddlers or young children, or honestly, even for adults. The hummus is something that is a great cost saver if hummus is something you eat all the time. So thank you for watching and don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe.